Hello friends, this is Rainer again. This is the third snippet of our org mode tutorial and today's topics are scheduling, deadlines and a bit of agenda view. You remember last time we created that mylife.org file and we have uh, captured some tasks that we want to do but so far this is just a list and it's uh, without any plan, any timeline, any schedule so we have to start scheduling. If you want to schedule something the easiest way is you place your cursor on that headline and then you press Ctrl C, Ctrl S you see I have this uh, monitor now on the left side because we need that space down here you will see why. I press Ctrl C and Ctrl S. And now you see I get a calendar here. This day is highlighted, today is June the 10th and I want to do my weekly review. Well, when do I want to do it? Let's say today. Okay? So if I extend that, you see I have a new line that says scheduled. This one is scheduled for today. Okay, next thing we do the tax declaration. This is a bit more complicated. So we have two things. We can say we let me put it in here so that we see everything. I press Ctrl C, Ctrl S again. I say okay, I start on Monday with that and the preparation because uh, IRS department is very strict. Uh, I have a deadline as well, so I can press Ctrl C, Ctrl D to define the deadline and they say, okay, the deadline is Friday in two weeks. So you see now I have a line that says deadline is this date and scheduled is this date. Scheduled in the org mode context always means this is the day when I want to start working on a task. It's not that you are supposed to be finished with the task on that day, but it's I want to start on that day. And of course you can schedule, we actually schedule tasks by day, but let's see here we have a task, very important, watch the concert of our kid in school. Uh, the concert is, let's estimate it, Control S, next week on Wednesday, 15th of June. But of course it's not the whole day, it starts at 1600 and goes to 1700. Okay, so you see I have my date timestamp and I have a, a period of time that should be blocked for watching the concert and that's it. I already scheduled a few more tasks, so let me bring it all to your side. You see we have that weekly review, we have the tox layer, we have washing the car. This one I, I pretend that I wanted to do it on the 21st of May, so it's a bit overdue. I have one schedule, delivery of spare part, I'm waiting for that. But I put a scheduled date as well, because that reminds me that on Tuesday next week, you know this, this DI is Dienstag, it's German. On next Tuesday, Orgmode will remember or remind me that I'm waiting for something and I can see what am I waiting for and I can maybe uh, ask where is my packet, why am I still waiting, is it delivered or is it not delivered and so on. So you see we have now a nice document with a lot of schedules but of course it's a bit of pain in the ass. Uh, to see what do I have to do today or what do I have to do next week. If you have to search inside here, you get crazy. And uh, of course the people that created Orgmo don't want you to get crazy. So they invented a very nice feature that is called Agenda View. We have here a nice file, we save it. And I can open an Agenda View and I see an agenda of the things uh, I need to do. So uh, opening an agenda view in this case is control A. No, not this one. Control A. You get the menu here. C 
Control A uh, and now we just say we want an agenda for the current week or day. It's A. So you see here, it's in italics, this is today's date, Friday, June 10th, 2016. And what do I see? This is the name of the file where this task is defined. And you see there is in red, I already have scheduled it for 21 days, wash the car. And it was raining the last three weeks, so I didn't wash the car, but it's still on my list. And there's a green, that means it's for today, that says, okay, do your weekly review. And we have one line in black, that's a reminder that in two weeks we have a deadline that says prepare text declaration. And then tomorrow I should start going shopping for my wife's gift. And here you see just the headlines in this agenda view. When you want to know what am I up to, you can press Shift F that enables the follow mode. So if I put myself on that wash the car line here, in the upper window I see the details, wash the car and what did I want to do, washing from outside and vacuum cleaning inside. Let's move down, weekly review, there is no text yet, and prepare taxes, and so on. You see, every action I have here, down here, moves uh, up there. And of course, this is the current week, working week 23 in 2016, I want to see what's on my plate next week. So we press just F, that's forward, and then we see, okay, Monday, I wanted to start preparing my tax declaration. On Tuesday, this is the reminder, I was waiting for a delivery of a spare part, and then I can say, okay, this task is done when, when the, the thing has arrived, if it hasn't arrived, then I can call the one that should send it and ask him, did you really send it? On Wednesday, the most important thing, the concert of my kid in school. And we see it's not only a date, it's the time schedule that says, yeah, from 1600 to 1700, this is the concert. So. Here you have a, a real easy to, to view agenda, what's on your plate today or this week or whatever. And you can move forward, you see, next one week forward I see my two deadlines. The one that says text declaration and the other one get the birthday gift for the wife because the wife's birthday is on that date. And if you haven't done it until then, then you are really in trouble. Okay, if you want to go back, it's just pressing B backward and here we are again. So if we go back three weeks, you see this was the date when I originally scheduled washing the car and I can go forward today and so on. If I want to leave the agenda view, it's just pressing Q and I'm back in my buffer where all the things are. Okay, that's for now. And in the next snippet we will talk about uh, maybe a bit more agenda options and maybe checklists. Okay, thank you for watching and please put a comment in if you like it or not so that I get motivated to record more of those things.